Hi. I'm a big fan of the TED Talk series, Technology Education Design Conferences. And a while ago, I watched a talk by a man called Bruce Schneier, and the talk was called The Security Mirage. And he made a number of points that, while they were related basically to the economy and to society in general, I thought had some relevance for language teaching and teacher training, so I thought I'd discuss them briefly here. He was talking about the feeling of security and risk, or about the words security and risk, and he said that what was interesting is that they covered two very distinctly different concepts. One, um, perceived risk, the feeling of risk, being at risk or being secure, and actual risk and actual security. So he said that you can um, feel secure even when you're not, and you can feel um, at risk even when you're perfectly safe. And he said that the basic problem with us as humans is that we tend to respond to the feeling of risk rather more than the reality. And he said that there were four basic biases at play in our behavior. He said that there were some things we tend to exaggerate in our risk assessment and some things we tend to underplay. Um, the first thing that we tend to uh, exaggerate is um, rare or spectacular risks and we underplay mundane or everyday things. We also tend to exaggerate the risk of the unknown and we underestimate the risk of the familiar. We tend to overestimate or exaggerate risks connected to things that are personified or things that we can name and we tend to underplay uh, anonymous risks. And the last one is we tend to exaggerate risks that we perceive in situations that we feel are out of our control and we tend to underplay or underestimate risks in situations that we feel at least that we are in control of. And they can lead to what's known um, more widely as security theatre. You know, this idea of uh, lots of armed police at the airport make us safer. They don't necessarily make us safer, but they give us the feeling that we're safer because there's something observable that's being done. And that's an example of security theatre. And I got thinking about lesson plans. Um, not planning as such, but plans, you know, paper-based plans. There's a tacit understanding that more is better, uh, longer is better, more detail is better, and more, most particularly, more anticipation of problems, potential problems, is better. So I suppose what I'm saying is that lesson plans are security theatre, that they give an impression, uh, a veneer of security, but they don't necessarily give a teacher any real security. Um, and that's particularly important for trainee teachers because security in the classroom is something that they desperately crave um, and feel is beyond them. You very often in self-reflections read things uh, where people say, I was on very thin ice, um, I didn't feel safe, I didn't feel secure. Um, and very often we say, well, plan in more depth. Um, but that doesn't seem to help or doesn't seem to help many candidates. And recently I read a self-evaluation from a candidate who had planned their lesson extremely thoroughly with lots and lots of relevant detail and the lesson had not gone particularly well and it was clear that throughout the lesson the candidate was extremely uncomfortable and in their self-evaluation they said um, words to this effect what this lesson has taught me is that um, a plan however detailed is worthless if the teacher is not prepared. Planning, paper-based planning, uh, regardless of the depth, is only security theatre unless it is the product of a deeper sense of preparedness. And I would suggest in closing that um, using paper-based planning as an end in itself is a security theatre approach to teacher training that I think we would be uh, wise to avoid 
and we should focus much, much more on getting our students not to assess risks, but to assess opportunities um, and to thereby perhaps inculcate a greater sense of preparedness for teaching um, than paper-based planning uh, can actually achieve. I'd be very interested to hear what you think about this and I'm looking forward to your comments. Enjoy the rest of the weekend and the week ahead. This is Anthony Gorham from Teacher Training Unplugged, signing off.